of Holy Name University. In Focus is a series of virtual panel discussions and conversations about recent update, up-to-date, relevant, valued information for our parents, students, incoming enrollees, our stakeholders about Holy Name University, its programs, its uh, colleges, its departments, and its alumni. In Focus is brought to you by the Marketing and Advertising Office, live from Holy Name University. This afternoon, we have with us, uh, and the In Focus the, on the hot seat is our alumnus uh, of the senior high school, specifically of the STEM track. We have Gilbert uh, Crescentio, Artiaga Crescentio. So, uh, without further ado, may I introduce him? Uh, but to have the honor to introduce him, may I give you uh, the uh, principal of the basic education department of Holy Name University, Mr. Uh, Dr. Prisciano Legitimas. Hi, sir. Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Where? Okay. Ba? Okay. Yes, you are very loud and clear. Good everyone. afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, uh, Gilbert, our our guest this afternoon. Good afternoon uh, to our ever energetic and active senior high school faculty. Good afternoon, our, sir. I understand our grade 10 uh, computers, some or many, I hope, are viewing us this afternoon. I'm of their fellow, fellow alumnus. Uh, I'm very happy. Uh, before heights, let him before flying high to greater heights uh, in in few days from now, and uh, being with us this afternoon in this in focus, I am very grateful to your office member for the initiatives of bringing back. Gilbert <laughs> before going to to the US uh, I, again uh, welcome welcome to this afternoon's in focus uh, thank you for being with us in our high school teachers uh, Gilbert and again I would also like to to greet a pleasant afternoon to our SVD administrators member uh, headed yes, by father Dun Silero uh, and his cabinet so again, and thank you for this afternoon. Thank you very much, Dr. Legitimas, for that warm welcome for Gilbert and for all of us. A warm welcome, pleasant afternoon to our avid viewers, our followers, our Facebook uh, live followers, those who are watching this live right now synchronously. Uh, asynchronously later and in YouTube and those who will listen to this in BYJR and Spotify in the future. Uh, pleasant afternoon, pleasant day, wherever you are. So we have Gilbert Artiaga Crescentio on the hot seat this afternoon, one of our senior high school uh, graduates and who is uh, a full, schol full scholar, received a full scholarship at Amherst University and an um, incoming uh, Michael John Fellow. So without further ado, may I give you um, Gilbert to introduce himself briefly before we go into a series of questions in this afternoon's conversation. Gilbert? Hello. Hi. Uh, hello everyone, good afternoon. Um, thank you for having me here, Mom Vera and Sir Ledge. Um, yeah, um, and to all the viewers out there, um, 
my name is Gilbert and I'm an incoming Fulbright Scholar and an incoming Mikkel Jan Fellow at Amherst College in Massachusetts this fall. Okay, thank you very much. And Gilbert, so that pronunciation is Gilbert. Gilbert. Okay. Can you tell us briefly about uh, where you are in Bohol? Uh, what was your track in senior high school? What year you graduated? Yes. Um, so basically, I'm originally from Talibon Bohol, San Roque Talibon Bohol, and I graduated last 2020 at Holy Name University Senior High School. Then after that, I went on a gap year. Okay. And uh, you are what track in senior high school? Uh, STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Wow, thank you very much. And that was for your uh, grade 11 and grade 12. Uh, if I may know, where was your uh, junior high school? Where did you take oh, up your junior, your junior high school, your uh, grade uh, 7 to 10? Oh. So I went in San Jose National High School for my seventh grade to 10. Okay. Then and in Talibon. And your oh, senior high school, 11 and 12, was in Holy Name University. Holy Name University. You. Thank you very much. Uh, because we are on that already, can you tell us about your senior high school at HNU? What were the milestones, the highlights, oh. memorable experiences, probably high moments, your favorite teachers, your stuff that you did during your grade 11 and 12. Thank you. So um, when I was in, uh, um, in senior high school in 11th grade, um, well, we have this. So I wasn't, uh, during my time and holy name, uh, I was really involved in school, uh, most especially in research. Because yeah, HNU is mostly on the medical field. So yeah, um, even in my uh, first PR or research project, na involved na ko sa HNU. Uh, and my high moments, basically, um, to to be able to like at um, since began ko sa like sa Talibon, then I. Uh, transferred here. Uh, so we murag naka adapt na puko sa um, environment, murag na independent. And then, yeah, uh, my favorite teachers, I say, is mostly in like research um, and physics, um, calculus, ni, especially sila, Mom Leo Albert, <laughs> or this dance, Sir Ace. And yeah, for the for physics, si Mam Paho, then sa Sir Saigomba sa calculus. And masaba. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, were you in any clubs or any um, organizations also while you were with uh, with each and you? Oh yes, ma'am. Um. I was involved in like the Writers Guild okay. and also the Science Club in my 11th grade. Okay, may I know why you picked STEM uh, as your track? Since there are other, we also offer ABM and Humes in HNU. Why, why did you choose uh, STEM? So when I was in junior high, I know that I will be pursuing in the sciences, uh, most specifically in the neuroscience field. So yeah, I, I really dig deeper into um, major uh, pursuing STEM. So when I was deciding to transfer school, so I um, uh, my decision is fixed now to pursue STEM in Holy Name. Wow, so, and you picked Holy Name because of the STEM program, is that it, or? Uh, uh, yes, um, actually, um, when I was uh, researching for schools here in Bohol, um, the Holy Name University has, has a lot of um, high reputation when in terms of like medical medicines, like 
uh, nursing and stuff like that. And yeah, I took that into consideration also, especially that I will be pursuing research. So yeah. Okay. So that was the major factor consideration in your choice of uh, the track, STEM track and the school. So um, you said uh, one of the highlights was your memorable experiences was also on research. By the way, this afternoon we have uh, with us our uh, teachers. Let me show our teachers from the senior high school, those that uh, you said were your favorites uh, at SMU, uh -huh. so that I'll bring them out quickly, briefly, because I want them to see you and you to see them and uh, for them to say a little about uh, or send you their message. So uh, we have Mam Paho, we have invited um, Mam Lee, Albert Lee, Ordista, Sir Ace, uh, who have very fond memories of you. We invited others, but I hope that they can join uh, later. So Sir Legit already said uh, some stuff uh, earlier about you. Let's ask uh, Mam Paho. Mam, you were pointed as one of the favorite teachers. Say hi to Gilbert and whatever message, or can you describe him as your student when he was your student? Hi, okay. So good afternoon, everybody. Gilbert, good afternoon. Happy to see you again for almost a year naman siguro. And um, knowing now you have reached your ambition, no? As far as we communicate each other, marag mo na gina ang dream come true. And happy to see you again and very happy that I am part of your journey. And always remember, Gilbert, ha, it's okay to fail and learn from failures good. Ha, di ba? So God bless and looking forward for a Filipino neurosurgeon someday. Wow, yay. What, what Thank you, subject, Gilbert. What subject was he in uh, with you, Ma'am Paho? Um, physics, Ma'am. Physics, General Physics 1 and General Physics 2. And I can was... still remember Gilbert asking questions about medical um, sciences. <laughs> <laughs> and this was, in yes. grade, this was in grade 12. Uh, how do you describe him as a Yes, Ma'am, grade 12. How do you describe him as a student? Um, as a student, the mayor of the class. Um, uh, the mayor is the... Laging the, siya lang ang kakapitan ng marami. <laughs> the mayor is the president. The leader, ma'am. The president because, of the class. Um, his classmates... Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, the leader of H... Is that STEM age, Gilbert? Yes, no? yes ma'am. And most, most of his classmates are boys, um, very talented <laughs> boys. And um, si, si Gilbert, ragyod ang magpakalma nila, ma'am. <laughs> uh, yes, a... I can still remember those days. How, would you remember how many uh, STEM students were there, how many sections or... And, and, um, so Gilbert was in one of those sections in uh, in uh, yes, read, in STEM. Oh yes, ma'am. Uh, there are eight sections, and there are sections actually. Uh, he belonged to section like aviation because what uh, aviation? No? Engineering, engineering, ma'am. Uh, oh yes, kay, uh, we classify them according to their to their choice and siya lang ang neurosurgeon so siya ang napunta dito nga, nga section ma'am and uh, no doubt siya gid ang mulid sa klase oh yes i can remember him okay. yes thank you thank you god bless for... gilbert and gilbert how do you remember ma'am paho um and but, their okay. subjects <laughs> Um, Mom Pao doesn't only um, teach on, doesn't only focus on the subject materials, but also 
also put in, into application and there's a lot of life lessons also nga iyang include while discussing so yeah it's been uh, unforgettable moments like they can learn not only physics but also life about life and yeah about experiences experiences ni uh, uh, yeah Okay. The reason why I invited these uh, senior high school teachers was I asked Gilbert, who would you like me to um, to invite? Number one, you see Mom Paho, and I said, physics is a hard subject. Many students hate it, but she, <laughs> you are number one in his uh, list, Mom. No? So may, very amazing. So we actually invited the others, uh, Gilbert, uh, Mom Babuna. Uh, you said uh, you mentioned yes. Sir Sari Gumba, but... Uh, Unfortunately, I cannot, uh, we cannot, uh, they cannot get online at this time and they have uh, probably connectivity problems or scheduling uh, problems. So uh, I hope that they can watch, if not synchronously, asynchronously later so that they will also feel the pride uh, that everybody has for your uh, current um, achievement. So you said research is also your favorite and that very memorable. So I invited, we have a uh, so Ace here and uh, Mam Lee, uh, I'll start with ladies first or gentlemen first? According to the process, you start with Sir Ace and then uh, for the capstone, you have uh, Mam Lee. So shall we start with Ace? Or see, okay, Mam Lee? Sige, go ahead, sir. Okay, hi Gilbert. Uh, congratulations hey, on uh, what you have achieved. <laughs> no? So you, Gilbert Mam is with me for two semesters. Grade 11, I am um, uh, his PR2 teacher, also the quantitative research. And in the grade 12 first semesters, RP, they continue what they have worked in during their PR2. And then... PR is... Just, PR stands uh, for... Uh, uh, his PR2 is... Practical um, research. Practical, practical research too. Quantitative research. Okay. And the RP is the research project. Okay. okay. So uh, at first, Gilbert Good is, I have seen him sa, sa potential, especially when he shared to me some say, mga accomplishments before ni Dong siya sa HNU. Kaya I know Gilbert is from not from HNU during the junior high school. Pero pag abot na yan rin mo, mo Mo ingon dai sana ako sir, mo excuse ako sir kay how many days cuz I'll be going somewhere else kay na na ako ay uh, participation especially the international and uh, and then I also give consideration kay tagsara kayo ang mga students nga given the opportunity to have that one. Nya karon nakurat lang po before ni si Gilbert nga na, na approve ang iyang uh, kaning sa Amerika is ni contact na siya nako kay nagpasalamat siya nako and in a way nga dako kunog tabang ang research so sa ako lang nga self as teacher murag himbukad pud akong atay oy dako dai pud gay impact ang akong 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 lesson no nga bisa dili kayo gyud ingon anak gyud ko ka anad jud kayo og research but still students learn from sa research di ay nya mao po ni akong giingong ni Gil, ni Gilbert nga oh, tuan na siya sa gawas if ever was whatever things i can help him regarding sa research i'm still open kay naam gyapon mo contact gyapon niya no and then ako gyud pagkita gyud ako ni Gilbert nga wala pa guys siya makato sa America karon murag ako nga positive na gyud kaayo positive nagyo kayo ang 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 impact nga in an uh, given the opportunity para ang message lang gyud nako ni mo Gilbert is stay lang gyapon nga naa gyapon ta sa low be humble lang gyud gyapon and thank you also for bringing the name of holy name university sa imo nga achievement no even though we're just only a portion of it but still you are very much proud of the school nga this akagikan and i do hope nga anda lang hapunta we stay we stay low kay that's one thing nga ang the graces nga moabot para nimo are there are still more no and i know i know sa imong personality nga 
you are very much down to earth person god na tagaan ka gracia ana and again congratulations bert for the job well done this is your stepping stone and i would like to see you again nga murag ang imong nanay sumpa imong pangan ba doctor gilbert crescencio ah Oh, okay. Murag, nalipay po ko nakita sa imong message bitaw nga uh, you as possible you don't want to to serve at to sagawas even though nga nga dako kayo siya o chill do dito but still you want to go back to the Philippines to serve the Filipinos. Kay yes. moy imo moy moy imong kuan gyud so tagsara na nga mga tawo nga mga nana kay ubang mga tawo ron ni eskwela o prestigious nga mga institution to go outside the Philippines. Pero ikaw, you have already the opportunity that sa, sa gawas, but still you want to go back here. So, muna yung usas ang kabiliba ni mo. And I do hope nga you stick with that that one, Gilbert. Yes, so again, sir. congratulations and <laughs> be proud of uh, being a Filipino, a Boholano, and a holy name. Yeah. Thank you very much yes, for this. Thank you. Thank you, uh, back to you, uh, Gilbert. Can you tell us about that research uh, project or that that uh, research that you had under um, Sir Ace here? Oh, um, yes, yes, ma'am. Um, actually, when I was doing my practical research too, um, it's aligned mostly on the medical field. Um, I still remember when I was doing my um, proposal. Um, it's all about um, the antibacterial, like stuff like the antibacterial activity of um, like a certain plant. Then we incorporated it into um, into a certain type of bacteria. Then yeah, during our um, research project, we changed it. Then for my research, um, for our research, major um, change na namo. So the title for our um, RP research project is like um, um, antibacterial efficacy of Tabay um, Namantana Pandakaki, which is cape with nano, silver nanoparticles. Um, it's just effective for uh, gram positive bacteria, which is Klebsiella pneumoniae, which can be found in the HNU Medical, Te uh, Medical Technology Laboratory. Pandakaki, the plant, the one with white flowers. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Very significant to me because I, I have this friend and I said, Nay bundol, Monsignor. So many mo bundol. Pangayo ko na yung pandakaki na sa gawas. Okay. For ornamental, not for the purpose that that you had. Okay. Thank you very much. And thank you, Sir Ace, for making that impact and significance and high level research that our grade 11 and 12 are doing imagine uh, and using the uh, the availability and making ac having access to the medical laboratory for that uh, research mom le yes ma'am sir ace uh, the research process scientific method the writing proposal and then so on they will go to you for uh, and even, yes. Can you tell us about this? That? Is, uh, and, yes. Yes, they will be preparing for um, the presentation. Uh, it's like an exhibit of the project that they have formulated based on what they have researched. And uh, um, I, my best message to Gilbert, I wish to congratulate him for this amazing milestone. Uh, you have worked hard for this achievement and I can personally attest good no, and have witnessed his endeavors in the fulfillment of his dream. Uh, he, is, he is a precious, you are a precious gem Gilbert and your HNU senior high school family is very proud of your accomplishments. Now soar higher at Amherst College when you start this quest 
for a much higher vocation uh, in making a difference in the lives of everyone. I've heard you at GMA, and it was such a, a an apostolic vocation that you're trying to um, share to your fellow Filipinos. Now you will come back and become one of the greatest here in our country. So uh, make, make a difference in the lives of everyone who will uh, benefit no, uh, from your brilliance. Uh, you realize your dreams of becoming a neurosurgeon, and we, we wish for, we pray and wish for that to happen very soon. So we are glad to have been part of your journey, Gilbert. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, before I let you leave, uh, Ma'am Le, because I know I'm yes, a ma'am, that you have other stuff to do, but may I um just orient us uh, who are not uh, in the senior high school, our listeners, our future uh, students in grade 11 and 12, our parents, uh, what is this capstone uh, uh, program or project all about and what is it for? What do the students do in there? Thank yes, um, HNU, allow me to speak, ma'am. Um, HNU is into research and in that um, we have um, given uh, emphasis on that one and all our students have uh, the all the facilities that we need, we have it. Uh, it's just that uh, right now uh, it's limited due to the pandemic, but um, still, if students request, we have everything that we need. Uh, they are they are on the right path when they choose HNU, especially on uh, all the strands that we have. So we are glad that Gilbert has proven to be uh, a wonderful alumni of uh, Holy Name University. Thank you, Gilbert. So, Mom Ali, uh, the, after when they did the research project with uh, Sir Ace and all that, they exhibit. And, and, they, and yes, was still yes. able to do that in his time. Uh, yes, what yes. Is, there? is there like a is there like a paper or a presentation or a, an yes, answer? they will exhibit. They will um, it will be uh, they will be um exhibiting what they have um um the, the outputs of their of their researches. So if it's like a project, I think Gilbert Gilbert and his um. Uh, friends or his group mates were able to create an extract uh, of pandakaki to uh, was that Gilbert that uh, oh. uh, efficacy of pandakaki with nano silver um, was that it? Um, the efficacy of uh, tabi naman tana pandakaki. Ah yeah yeah. yeah. And, um, cape with nano silver nano particles, and then we yes. tested it to. Um, a gram positive bacteria, which is um, Klebsiella pneumoniae. Yes, and they participate in that big event where um, there will be a panel of examiners that will ask them questions, interview them, and ask of how uh, how effective their their outputs are. And one uh, Gilbert and his team did a wonderful job. Wow, what a nice experience! And there were trials that you made. Uh, were there uh, how many trials did you do and and so on yes um oh okay um, Gilbert was always uh, Gilbert during my class. Gilbert was always out <laughs> because he's always at the lab. He's always at the lab and asks for permission. Yes, they were so into uh, our facilities are very accommodating to our students. So oh okay. So actually, when I, when I was doing my research, my capstone research, uh, like what mom or Dista said, I was always in the lab because I, I forgot how many trials that I did. Um, because when, during the first trial, um, our, like the agar was contaminated. So we need to really um, re we redo do. the we process. <laughs> So yeah, it, but it was also an amazing experience also. It was very hard working. Thank you. Very meticulous. One more thing. One thing that you need in the medical field is for you to be very meticulous. And he was he he has that. He has that. Wow. Thank you very much. And and sir legit, I think that's uh that's our STEM. The design of our STEM program, no uh, uh, 
the research and the capstone and there is no that, that's the reason why we don't need to have that ojt or that immersion because we are our academic tracks are actually focused especially the stem program focused on this yes sir yes, well. uh, and uh, actually generally we are we are a research university right so i think that's what inspired our administration that at the young at the young level of education in hnu uh, i am referring to the senior high school we go in at the onset of the implementation of the senior high school number many students why not immersion uh, yes. i even brought this issue in the national convention of caap and the 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 answer was uh, in the implementing guidelines immersion bar research so it's up to your senior high school on what prefer uh, so we at <laughs> there, there are um I think there are audio connectivity problems on your side, but we heard uh, what we were getting was for HNU to be um, to be um, uh, our edge is on the our focus is on the research aspect, and I'm I'm very happy to yes. hear uh, Gilbert about that. I am a biology major also, and I'm into research. I've been attending, uh, been judging uh, several um, science fairs and all that very particular on the number of trials and you know what are the you know so i'm, I'm very happy to hear that ma'am i did not know about that research i was was i already here give me a copy of that research. i think yes. gave me a whole bundle oh okay now uh let's move on to more uh questions um so you had your grade 11 and 12, and tell us about uh, this scholarship that you have at Amherst. How did that come about? And what was the background? How did you how did you apply? And was uh, was uh, what was important uh, that they had to um, to uh, know about you or get from you information so that you can qualify for this scholarship? Yes, Gilbert. Okay, um, yeah, so, so basically Amherst College, Amherst College is one of the five schools that are need blind, who, um, who do need blind admissions, meaning need blind admissions, meaning um, the schools doesn't um, use your uh, family's financial cap capabilities in order to decide whether you will the schools will accept you or not. So, yeah, because um, in US application, there are two, two types of schools. Uh, first is the, the need aware schools and the need blind schools. Need aware schools are those schools that um, take into consideration your family's financial capability. And uh, however, um, the need blind schools are opposite, meaning they will not take into consideration your financial capabilities. So, but um, there are only five schools who, who do need blind um, admission, which is Harvard, Princeton, Yale, Amherst, and MIT. So yeah, I chose Amherst as one of my schools to apply. So, and, uh, oh, and how did you uh, go through, I mean, how did you, when did you decide or were you, what information, how did you go about the application or how did you know about all of these uh, types of universities and all those that are offering scholarships in the US? So we, when, I, when I came here so I knew, uh, um, I was selected also as a scholar uh, in the Education USA Academy. Oh, okay. They're at Temple University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So um, the program was only good for a month, 
then we were like we were exposed to like the American um, lifestyle, the cultures and sceneries and stuff like that. And one uh, one part also program is on applying to U.S. colleges. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was exposed also on how to apply and what what requirements do we do we need to prepare. So um, unlike uh, Philippine colleges where you will only take an entrance exam, um, U.S. colleges has a lot have a lot of requirements para ma qualify ka. Um, the grades, um, the class rank, um, recommendation letters, the essays. I wrote a lot of essays um, with different topics and um, extracurricular activities. So um, extracurricular activities are really important because colleges would like to know if you were not just in, you were involved not just in school, but also in the communities. So the, I think that part was really important in the application and yeah but you can determine you can determine um which part is has a lot of weight because there's no part of the application that guarantee you an admission to the school so yeah parang napod siya appeal nga um lack bitaw so yeah motto five motto parts so that Oh, so the education uh, USA uh, one month uh, took place when you were in grade 11, 11 or grade 12? Grade 11. Okay, and how, grade 11. How, did you, um, how did you qualify or apply or know about it? Um, I applied in the summer of 2018 before going here. So for June, I received an email that I was selected as a scholar <laughs> and you were just were you informed about it by someone or did you just read about it did you just uh read about it in the internet or how did you um oh. yes how did that come along so um when i was in middle school uh, grade seven or grade seven christmas ago uh, my dream in studying is uh, my dream is to study in the u.s so yeah since wala pa man koy phone, wala pa koy gadgets throughout that time, kay grade 9 pa ko nagka cellphone. So uh, wala koy access to la myriad of, of opportunities, sorry. Um yeah, so, since start I start from grade 9, I started researching about um, scholarship opportunities and stuff like that. Uh I even have I even went to the point nga na scam ko because of <laughs> It's a finding because I was really into finding scholarship into the US. So yeah, when in the grade 10, in the summer of my grade 10, after grade 10, um I wish uh, I nakalabay ko sa Facebook post about education USA and um like the advising session and scholarship opportunities like Education USA Academy. So yeah, nag ni apply ko ato nga time. Then I never expected na madawat ko since like um yeah, wala kayo wala kayo kwan kayo put wala ko kayo tarang experience on applying. So I just applied lang pa pero wala ko ga expect. So la yeah um pa June sa 2018 dito na nakaget naka receive ko email na congratulations yeah. <laughs> You are accepted, and also um, Temple University gave me uh, partial scholarships. Um, so I still need to um, cover the the remaining cost mm -hmm. of attendance. Mm -hmm. So um, what I did is I reached out to Education USA Philippines. Um, ko funds. Then uh, thankfully, gatayon uh, nila. So um, Apple ang um, like um flight to Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. Um, yeah, and during that time also was really unforgettable since I was accepted without even a passport or a visa. So, 
and I only have two weeks left in order to like prepare all those requirements. So I was in Sarledge, Diego Dolnia throughout that time, like my <laughs> recommendation, me uh, to the gober, uh, former governor Edgar Chato. Then yeah, um, so uh, si Ma'am, uh, sa scholarship pod na mo sa si Ma'am uh, Marcelina. Marshana. <laughs> Marshana. Oh, uh, Marshana. Uh, she connected me to former governor Edgar Chato, like uh, um, Anthony Edgar Chato, because they, to yeah, para maka ko ako um, um, uh, passport. What's that recommendation passport. letter mm -hmm. uh, from governor? Para ma expedite na kong passport. Okay. Wow. So when you entered, when you um. When you entered the uh, HNU at grade 11, you already had that uh, scholarship for Education USA. And th this was the one that opened doors for you. Be by the way, before I forget, um, I was asked to let you text uh, or call uh, congressman for your allowance, Kuno, so that you can also have your allowance at Amherst. Don't forget. Don't forget to do that. Anyway, so you. Um, so you had a month there, and was like, was that like an education? Did you go to school in Temple and and yeah. learn about yeah? As, um, grade, as grade eleven, or was that uh, yes, as college? Um, um, actually, the Education USA Academy is designed for students um, who are planning to study in the U.S. So, so the pre-college, see ya. Um, we have classes where we we participate in classes with college students uh, from Temple University, like with professors, more usual uh, college settings. Mm -hmm. Then we went into a trip to New York, um, uh, to the Ivy Leagues like Princeton, wow. UPenn, wow. and yeah, um, the trip with me throughout Philadelphia and Pennsylvania just to engage us to the U.S. life and uh, Westerners said okay. to. So, what the um, Okay, well, thank you very much. So, um, and, the, and you were the only one from uh, Bohol or how many were you from the Philippines that um, qualified? Um, and was there preference actually, for like STEM or whatever program or uh, no? Um, actually, um, I'm the only Filipino in Temple when I was doing my um, program, Education USA Academy program. Ako lang isa to ang Filipino. Okay. And, and therefore, this Amherst, uh, uh, this Amherst uh, scholarship, uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, system in the university will not really be new to you because you already had about uh, an experience there. And you've also seen uh, what it's like to be um, in universities in the Philippines. So um, let's talk about the scholarship. What does it, uh, the, the current uh, scholarship, uh, what does it include? You said it's a full scholarship. So what's included on there? Is there also um, accommodation? I mean, your residence or your uh, flight or anything? How many years does it cover? And are you required to take a particular course? And how, how is that uh, how is that coming along? So my scholarship in Amherst is a 100% full financial aid. Um, it covers my tuition and fees, my room and board, we were, uh, where we will be living in the dorm. In campus. In, uh, on campus. Um, my uh, meal, meal plan, um, health insurance, personal expenses, books and supplies. And Amherst College also book a flight ticket for me to the US. One way. Um, <laughs> actually, <laughs> Nami budget, Nasale budget for, uh, for transportation, um, Nasale intend a budget, then Narani mo if imong hot done or not. Wow. So, uh, what what is the uh, does does it require you to take a particular course in college, or you are free to take? And what are you taking uh, up there over there? Um. So, 
one reason also why I chose um, US is that the flexibility. Um, we are not required to declare our major in our first year. Um, um, not until we are in the end of our second year. So uh, we are free to explore a lot of courses during our first year. So um, for me, I intend to major in neuroscience and to do a three to dual degree program in engineering science at Dartmouth. Uh, the three to dual degree program is um, like a program which is intended for students who wants to um, wants to major in engineering since Amherst don't have engineering like courses there. And I since it's a liberal liberal arts college, so more focus on the humanities, but yeah, they have this program, the three to dual degree program, where you can take um, engineering degree, where you will be getting an engineering degree at Dartmouth College, which is in Ivy League. Um, Which is also the, in, uh, is it also, is that also in Massachusetts or? In Hanover, in Hanover. Okay. New Hampshire. Okay. And so what, what, what is this, uh, Mikkel John, in your, um, in your art card announcing this uh, in focus, it says uh, incoming, um, Mikkel John. John, can you tell us about that? Who is he? And um, uh, yes. Yes. Um, Amherst College is really committed on helping low income and underprivileged students. So they have this program designed only for um, students coming from like low income and underprivileged background like me. So yeah, when during June, 6, June, um, I received an email that I was selected to be, to participate in the Mikkeljan fellowship program at Amherst College. So this fellowship program will grant us access to myriads of opportunities there on campus. We have, um, we have support from uh, when we want to do our research. We have this like um, summer stipend worth of $4,900 for our um, uh, for our internship, non-paid internship. If, yeah, so we also have um, um, an option to study in another country for up to two semesters. Okay. So, and we also have access to like career advancement and development. Okay. Uh, so uh, is that an additional, if you are a Michael John fellow, is that additional to the full scholarship of uh, Amherst or yes? Um, so, aside from being a full scholar at Amherst, um, the Michael John Fellow will focus more on, like, after graduating, we have, like, we have a lot of work, more on career advancement and development. Siya. Okay. And since I will be majoring in science in STEM, um, they will give support also for my research and yeah, my activities aligned with STEM. Okay, so right now, uh, and, and that's the classes will start the fall uh, in uh, August, September, right? August 30. But, August we, but we have this pre-orientation program in, for international students. So I will be going there um, um, earlier compared to the domestic um, US citizen students. Um, so, the pre-orientation program will start on August 20. And so you're flying over there by? August 19, hopefully. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> and what visa will you be in uh, going there? I'm using an F1 student visa right okay. now. And uh, is there like, uh, as, a, as, as a scholar, as a Michael John fellow and all of that, are you required, is there a residence rule like the J exchange visa or you're free to uh, do something after graduation? Um, as a full scholar and a Michael John fellow, um, there's no agreement where we will be working or return service. So right. my scholarship and 
the fellowship program is like um, no strings attached agreement talaga. <laughs> so, wow. I'm free to do whatever I want to do after graduating. So yeah. this is the, the, the full scholarship is for the whole uh, duration of the degree, like four years or? Yes, yeah. yes, ma'am. Um, actually, um, the scholarship is renewable, renewable um, every year. Uh, so for me, since I will be um, doing a dual degree, where right. I will spend three years in Amherst and two years at Dartmouth, um, um, after I transfer at Dartmouth, my financial aid will also be transferred will also be transferred to Dartmouth as okay. well to cover all the expenses at the school. So, yeah. Okay, wow. So, um, uh, so there is no return, there is no, um, there is no um, uh, agreement uh, that you have to render service also to the Philippines. Yes. Are you allowed to work uh, while you are doing, I mean, like uh, many of us, the university students like they do um they uh work at uh these fast food uh chains are you allowed to do that or you really will have to be a full-time uh student so yes we are allowed but when when we uh when you're a f1 visa holder you are allowed to work on campus with a maximum of 20 hours per week per week okay that's uh, to cover your cell phone your oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay so you will actually, also get actually, uh, yes actually Amherst has this student loan when you don't have um like um computer when you need computer laptop and you don't have money to buy it they will offer you a student loan which is zero interest mm -hmm. where where you will be able to borrow it and then when you have enough money to um pay for it then you can pay for it without interest so when you need some some things to buy and you don't have money so you can just um, call the financial aid office and then state your concerns and stuff like that okay so how does it feel now are you excited what are your hopes your expectations as to prepare as you prepare to leave for amherst college by uh, august you say August 19. Um, my hopes right now is to, uh, my my to-do list, I have a to-do list. Um, first on my list is to experience winter, <laughs> winter in the US since I haven't um, experienced it. <laughs> okay, so, what, um, what, what month were you in uh, Philadelphia? In, uh, last July, July summer summer program okay so it was it was summer <laughs> okay so um what are your expectations in that four years what do you hope to achieve while you are there um my expect uh, my hopes right now my dreams right now is to really involve on campus um i want to pursue research um even in my first year um you know, mostly in the neuroscience field, since they have this like a lot of laboratories in the, on campus, I want to utilize all the opportunities uh, available for me. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> so as part of your uh, the acceptance of the full scholarship, you have already been accepted to a specific degree or program or uh, college at Amherst, is that what it is? Or you still have to apply um, when you go there, when you get there? Um, also, we are not required to declare our major uh, cut on. Okay, oh, that's right, and in <laughs> uh, your first year, right. Uh, in, in our first year, um, we are required to declare major um, in, a, in the second year now, okay. in the second year now. So, Sylvie, so um, during our first year is just an exploration where we right, take right. a lot of classes from different fields and yeah wow how exciting you must be so excited and yes. your parents <laughs> so excited for you also so you already have your papers you already have your visa and your yes. and yes and your plane tickets i hope yes. and you are in no winter clothes yet 
but your uh, <laughs> university uh, clothes. So um, so happy and pleased to know that and uh, know that uh, Holy Name University is so excited for you. So uh, what are your plans after college? Oh, so yeah, I my plans right now for is now after get uh, after getting my dual degree my BA in neuroscience and BA in engineering science, I will be pursuing medical school in the US where I will be trained to become a neurosurgeon, hopefully. Wow. <laughs> and your your goal is really the US, not uh, uh, not the Philippines or any of the Philippine <laughs> universities and colleges. <laughs> so okay. I, I really wanted to, um, like pursue my medical degree in the US and then after get, getting a medical degree, um, I hope, I, I plan to like go back here and then uh, work as a neurosurgeon in provincial healthcare since there were no, uh, there are like smaller person, uh, number of neurosurgeons mostly in low resource community like, like um, in the province, like in Bohol. Wow. So I'm really hoping for that. May, um, may your dreams and your wishes come true and that uh, you will be guided uh, to do that. So uh, at this juncture, um, we have a lot of people watching us, your former teachers, your former colleagues, your former um, classmates probably. Uh, Steve said here, congratulations, Gilbert. Uh, Talibong, proud Talibong non here. Ma'am Rose Sarara is watching. Ma'am Rose Baceleres is watching. Joy, Jocelyn Montes, uh, Ma'am Zalwaga, Dr. Zalwaga, Sheila Altura, Cynthia Aiko, Ricardo Abela, Nemia Dahab, Regina Lobertanos, Candelaya. Mom Boggs Babor is watching. Mom Habina says, Congrats, Gilbert. There's a lot of people here. Mia Igagamao, Aning, probably your, uh, also your family. Adi Caberte, Congrats, Dino. May, Mia May, Emeline, Marlon Salarda, Tonalim, Jackie, and so on and so forth. Unsa siya sa mayor sa Palibon. At kung 70s, tunodoy. <laughs> okay, so at this time, at this juncture, uh, we are, uh, time check is 3.01. I'd like you to uh, take some time to uh, face the camera and speak to your teachers, your, um, uh, your especially the senior high school teachers of Olin University. And uh, what message will you tell uh, the teachers and and the whole HNU family. Oh, so since basic ma lines la basic wala na invite or con. We invited so, them. <laughs> we invited them, but uh, some cannot make it. So yes, please stay. So, uh, yeah, for, yes. for all the teachers, you know, for senior high na from grade eleven, my advisor, Mam Fabuna, and all the subject teachers, um, in grade twelve, Sir Sari Gumba, and also. Um, my subject teachers, there's a lot to mention, but <laughs> I know so yeah, they'll thank you for like honing my skills and molding me to be the person where I am today, po. And <laughs> thank you, um, you're you've been part of my journey as well. Um, um, I wouldn't be here where I am today without your guidance and support when I was in my senior high school years. And to all the um, each and new faculty and staff, thank you. Thank you, Sir Lich, Mom Gladys, um, for all the support, especially Mom Gladys. So yeah, you think the gandagan when I was um, doing my um, Education USA Academy when I went to Singapore for my ASEAN Youth Organization. See, I take follow up ni Father President. <laughs> so thank you, Mom Gladys. And yeah, to all the um, staffs and teachers sa holy name, especially sa MedTech Pod, MedTech Laboratory, Mom, our mentor <laughs> sa research. Thank you, Mom. 
It was this ro mom wrote thing, or was it somebody else? Um, Do you remember? <laughs> the, the chair of the department of medtech is uh, mom uh, Rosa Singh. Okay, um, now I'd like you to speak to our students, uh, grade 11 and 12, the incoming students, our grade 10 completers. Uh, what is your message for them about uh, enrolling at h &M? So um, my message for those um, newly completed students, um, if you are planning to like engage and be involved in research um, in your grade 11, um, even in your grade 11, so h &M has a lot of um, facilities and like laboratories where you will be, um, where you can pursue your dreams in research, like the Medtech Club. We also have a lot of um, biology laboratories, chemistry lab, physics lab. And yeah, there are, there are a lot of opportunities that you will be experiencing when you when you are here in each and you. <laughs> I remember um, doing also like, um, uh, I think study in biology lab. There are a lot of resources where you can find there and in chemistry lab. Um, yeah, since my research um, um, incorporated this silver nanoparticles, I was afraid that um, HMU you could not cater or give me that um, materials, the silver nitrate. <laughs> but when I went to the chemistry lab, there are a lot of equipments and like materials that I magamit na ko. <laughs> So yeah, um, if you're planning to enroll, um, I think it's a good decision since um, um, when you enrolled here, you are like exposed to like a college level research. Um, you will not be like more ignorant when you are <laughs> when you are, when you are in nursing or medic uh, med tech. We are planning to do nursing or med tech. Um, Di na kama ignorante since in senior high school, since in your senior high school sa HNU, you are also already exposed to a lot of like um, college, uh, more on college like experience. So yeah, thank you. Well, that's a, that's a student, uh, you know, like uh, really witnessing about uh, <laughs> what it is uh, and what we have to offer at HNU. Thank you very much for that. Um, uh, any, uh, Thank you. Uh, you might like to um, uh, shout out to your parents, your relatives or others that you wanna uh, thank. Uh, so is so legit. <laughs> former student yes uh, go ahead so um, me Hello. yes uh -uh. um so i want to uh, shout out also my classmates <laughs> that's it that's only a holy name so grade 11 our lady of guadalupe is um, you <laughs> and grade 12 um this like unforgettable section, memorable was my experience there, memorable. So it's grade 12 STEM age. So I hope <laughs> Makita Kita reunion. <laughs> so no. oh okay. yes, go ahead, go ahead. Please continue. Um yeah, Marato and I hope you will small <laughs> classmate now sa una. <laughs> They might probably be already because you had a gap year, so they're probably yes. incoming uh, second year. Second year. Oh. Second Actually, year. when I was um, also deciding when I will be um, take the whole gap year or not, um, being like feeling a behind Kunila was also a factor for nga murag <laughs> ko an nagduha duha ko mga gap year ba pero yeah I took a gap year and it was also an uh, really um, exciting moment since I have to um, do the things that I wanted to do since since um, senior high school I was 
grinding so hard for my academics. <laughs> so, more like um, stress reliever up on the gap year. So, this, this gap year, this gap year, for those who are not familiar with what that is, this is a gap year oh. that you had to apply uh, with Amherst. And uh, is that right? Um, gap year is like um, taking time off before entering college. So, you can you can also when you're applying to the US you can also apply naman when you are still in your grade 12 but if you opted to like take a uh, take time off um, before entering college you will uh, maybe taking a gap year is uh, the best option for you okay. is there any other um, like uh what is this cost, uh, Philippines, that oh. uh, you wanted to share uh, with us <laughs> that you mentioned uh, earlier? Uh, tell us about it and what do you want the, our listeners, our audience, our avid followers in Facebook know about uh, this cost, cost, Philippines. So current, currently, I'm a mentor at Cost Philippines. Um, Cost Philippines is like a nonprofit organization um, designed for um, build um, for students, Filipino students who are planning to study abroad. Actually, um, we have one student here in HNU who is our mentee right now, um, Lavenia Baricuatro. So, <laughs> so she's the only um, um, student from Holy Name. Uh, who is accepted as a mentee at cost. So yeah, for those um, like for those incoming grade 11 students or grade nine students um, planning to study in the US, you might um, use, uh, you might follow or like cost Philippines in our Facebook page um, to have these resources on what to apply because I've be, I received, uh, I have received a lot of message in my Facebook page on how, um, how did I apply uh, and what resources did I use. So yeah, if you are planning to apply in the US or abroad, um, Cost Philippines has a lot of resources where you can where, where you can use it. So yeah, you can also message me on my social media if you need help. So my aim. Um, my aim talaga is talang to bring more Polanas in the international stage. <laughs> yeah. Since most of these underrepresented Polanas are underrepresented when it comes to studying abroad. Okay. Wow. Thank you uh, very much. There are uh, other messages here from uh, Annabelle Bisinga, Mafe Tampo says, Wow, congrats. Uh, Yvette J. Piloton Pamuk said, wow, your inspiration. Congratulations, Delbert. Best of luck. Marilu Arbasto is watching. And Lavinia. Yeah, Lavinia is here. Hi, Kuya. Lavinia. <laughs> <For> the... <laughs> Hi, Lavinia. <laughs> okay, she's actually uh, watching right now. So uh, thank you very yeah. much for your uh, time, thank you. Uh, Delbert. We wish you luck and uh, holy name university will be watching you i hope that you carry the uh, core values of hnu and the sbd yes. wherever you go especially in the us we hope to see you there <laughs> when we go when we <laughs> have the time the chance to go and maybe we can visit or we can watch uh, your updates on your facebook account um yes uh, i ha i want uh dr legit to uh see the closing here but before i give him the floor i'd like to uh, invite our uh facebook friends to um uh, and their their families to follow us on facebook uh this uh live streaming is uh will be there forever and this will also be uploaded in our youtube channel it's holy name University uh, and will the audio files will be in DYJR that's our uh, Johnson Radio 106.5 FM uh, in the Metro Tagbilaran area. Uh, also follow us on Twitter, it's HNU Bohol. 
an Instagram. It's Holy Name University. We have a Wikipedia page, Holy Name University. And our website is www.hnu.edu.ph. Classes na start on August 9. Enrollment is still ongoing. So uh, please, uh, please check out the website uh, and check uh, slash admission for the admission requirements or to enroll. Uh, mis.hnu.edu.ph slash admission. On Friday, I would like to invite you to in focus. It's uh, AB Political Science Alumni, same time, 2 p.m. On Monday, that's uh, August 3, sir. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, what's that, August 3? We will have the career guidance program for grade 10. Uh, with uh, basic with Dr. Legitimas in the basic education department. So these are the dates to look forward to. So I give you the chance, uh, Sir Legit, to um, say your uh, closing statements, uh, wishes for Gilbert. Uh, yes, as the principal of you welcome and then you close also. <laughs> Sige, sir. Nakamute pa ka. Ayaw hila ka. Murag hangin di ha. Living of the education that Holy Name University is giving an awarding to our students, uh, particularly in the basic education department. Uh, so I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate and thank our senior high school teachers and administrators for having produced a Gilbert Crescencio who will be flying high and flying far <laughs> in his uh, college education. Uh, Gilbert, congratulations. You are an epitome of who, who oh, I, I am so happy. Sorry, sir. I sorry, sorry. Hold on, sir. Sorry. Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, I cannot forget uh, the statement of Gilbert that uh, how he wished to bring in more Bolanos. Holy name, me, I that matter. Just <laughs> for <laughs> in the US for their, uh, for their uh, educational pursuit. So I hope you will continue. But I would like to invite. Uh, everyone who are viewing with us and even those who are not viewing with us to be one with us at Holy Name University for us to help them realize their dreams. Uh, Gilbert, as what I have said, is a living testimony that we are providing excellent education regardless of financial status of the student regardless of their of the belief as long as dealing with a terrorist they are all welcome at holy day <laughs> they are all welcome and Gilbert could vouch for that he is the living testimony so inviting everyone uh, to be with us join us at holy name university Gilbert, good luck we are praying for you rest assured and our look is looking forward for your homecoming. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, <laughs> there are more messages for you here from uh, Father Sam Clarine. Congratulations, Jobert. I'm very proud of you. Amping dito dong. Don't forget to pray. God bless. Uh, Janiel Abelyar Cinco. Congratulations, the I, the Arakuya fit emo classmate, bro. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyway, thank you very much. And with that, we close. This has been 
Vera Villicido, the marketing and advertising officer of Holy Name University. Thank, thanking you for watching another episode of InfoCus brought to you by the Marketing and Advertising Office of Holy Name University. Uh, may I close with uh, our marketing video so the audience can uh, watch this and know more about our programs. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gelbert. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Yes, uh, you can stay put and... Uh, because it offers a good quality education, it offers a good course, medical technology, which is my choice. That's why I chose h as my school. I want to be in a place where I can be. Holy Name University has a way of balancing the hands-on training and academics so that one does not only learn how to do things, but also know why things work that way. Be in a place where they understand the stirrings of my heart, where people just like me will take me as I am. As I am. I, wanna be I believe that at Holy Name University, you are not just equipped with the necessary things to know about the world, but also a means to strengthen one's relationship with God and with your fellow beings. I want to be in a place where they understand the stirrings of my heart where people just like me will take me as I am. I chose HNU because as a Catholic institution and its good reputation, I know and I admire the school's philosophy, initiative, and also the service that they provide to the students and teachers.